the area you grew up in, uh, how would you describe it? Really tough, really rough uh, area. Uh, I think the, the only protection I had was that my dad had his cop car. You know, so guys, people knew that, you know, my dad was a cop. But I really didn't have any problems because I had the only basketball goal in the, in the area. So a lot of people would come over and play. And that's kind of how I learned how to really just, you know, play basketball. I was playing against older people every day. And even though I was the shortest one, I just tried to play as hard as I can and, and just dominate. And I had one friend uh, back in College Park, you know, uh, he was like, man, you got to stay away from all this stuff. It's crazy. It's drug dealers. It's gang infested. Stay in the gym. Keep working on your game. He's the guy that taught me how to dunk. Uh, we used the trampoline at first. But, you know, he taught me, you know, how to, you know, just play basketball. He, he spent time with me. He was, it's one of the guys who, uh, you know, I appreciate for helping me. How much did that resonate with you at the time when he was saying it? Oh, it was just big because I really didn't have a lot of people, you know, because of the neighborhood that we lived in. And uh, he really just took his time. You know, he was probably a couple years older than me, uh, but... Just a fellow student. It's just somebody that lived in the neighborhood that would come play basketball. You know, I would stay outside and, and play basketball until the, the, um, the lightning bugs would come out. And then I would have to go in because I couldn't see no more. In what ways was the neighborhood rough? Oh, man, it's gang infested, uh, drug infested. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot better now. Uh, but like, what do you remember seeing back then? Just hearing a lot of sirens, uh, gunshots, uh, a lot of fights. You know, we stayed like around a lot of, uh, a lot of apartment complexes. And, uh, you know, my parents didn't want us to really get involved in anything, so we couldn't even really walk down the street to the gas station because it was very, it was a very bad area, and uh, they kind of kept us protected. Why will you occasionally, or at least why would you used to occasionally drive back to College Park? I still and, do. And you'll let your like car idle out front of the lot where your childhood home used to be. Just because I, I just, I just want to see you know, where I came from, you know, the foundation, you know, the house is not there no more. Uh, but every time I go or even think about it, you know, I could just see and picture all the things we did as kids and, you know, how it's helped me get to where I'm at. You know, uh, I didn't have a TV to watch, so I couldn't watch a lot of basketball. Uh, but what I did have was a Magic Johnson uh, workout tape. And uh, I looked at that, and then I would go outside and work on drills. This is before we even had a basketball goal. Uh, we just do drills all day, me and my brother. And that's how I learned how to play.